Hello, so in this tutorial we're going to learn how to make this. You're going to be doing um, layer styles, blending modes, all that fun stuff, making things black and white. You kind of want to make it look like there's a paper on top of another paper where this paper has color and this one doesn't have color. So to do that I put on Google Classroom a template for you. So you're going to click on it. You're going to have to hit the three dots on the right hand side. Do open a new window and then the three dots again and hit download. Um, there might be a little arrow at the top pointing down with the download button. Either way, you want to download this PSD standing for Photoshop document and you want to open it up in Photopea. You've done that before, um, so you should be able to do that again, <laughs> hopefully. So download it, open it up in Photopea. So in order to do that, you're going to do file open you're going to click on your downloads or wherever you saved it. It's most likely going to appear in your downloads though. I saved mine on my desktop and it's called ripped template PSD and you want to hit open. So you'll see this. You'll see um, that it's a transparent layer with just a white piece of paper in the middle. Next thing you want to do is put a picture of yourself in here. Um, I'm going to grab one that I have saved. I'm going to hold down the shift button on my keyboard and make this as big as my template here. Alright, and I'm going to put it underneath my paper layer. And I want to line up my paper layer so it kind of matches my eyes. Because you kind of want your eyes to look like they're the part that have color. Um, so I'm going to click on this layer again. And then I'm going to do layer, duplicate layer. And then image adjustments, black and white. Hit OK. Put the colored image above your paper layer. And then um, this is going to be kind of tricky, but you have to hit the, with this top layer selected, hit the Option key and then click on that layer. I'm going to do that again, Command Z. So with this layer, top layer selected, I'm going to hit the Option key and then click here. So that should make it a, um, that should make it so just the white turns into the colored portion of it. Um, if that doesn't work, let's see, is there another way to do it? I'm not quite sure if there is another way. I think that's the only way you can do it. Let me see. Okay. If the option button isn't working for you, like if you have this layer clicked on and you hit control and then you click on it, or not control, I'm sorry. If you have this layer selected and you hit option and you click on this image of you and it's still not working, another thing you can do is have this layer selected and then do layer clipping mask. That will also do the exact same thing. Okay. So now that we have this portion selected, we're all good. We want to click on our paper layer, and then we want to do EFF at the bottom for effects, and then you want to do a drop shadow and stroke. So whenever you click on your stroke, make sure that this color is gray. So I'm going to click on it and click, click a gray. And you can kind of mess with these settings if you want to. I think it should just be like I'd say like less than five maximum. For your drop shadow, you can mess with this if you want to. You can make it bigger. You can make the distance bigger. Up to you. As long as you have stroke and drop shadow selected, you'll be fine. Click OK. Alrighty, so I'm going to do with paper layer selected, I'm going to do layer, duplicate layer, and it kind of like puts two copies of it on top of each other is pretty intensified and then you want to rotate this around and I don't want it to kind of cut off right there I want to make it bigger go all the way to the sides all the way to the side and you can kind of move this around play around with it a little bit
right, and then I'm going to click on this bottom image just so it doesn't select it all, or the bottom layer. Um, as kids were asking, like, how do I get rid of this in the screenshot if you don't want this part selected? All you have to do is click on the bottom layer, the background layer, or something that's a bigger selection so that way you don't see it. Um, so that way the bounding boxes are on the outside. But that is the project. You want to do um, control change window. The change window is a box with two lines on it. Um, some of you still aren't turning in screenshots of your work area in Photopea, but you need to do that because that is how I grade and I'm making sure that you have the effects options there showing me that you did all the work for that. And then you also have to do file, export as PNG and turn in the PNG to me as well. Alright, I'll be here if you need me.